How did it feel to get drafted? That was one of the best, one of the best days of my life because that's what I worked for to go to the pro. It was like a, it's a mini goal of my goal that I, my major goal. The mini goal was to get to the NBA. The major goal was to win a championship in the NBA. So I almost got the other one, but it, I, it felt like I fell on top of the world. I bet. I bet you've been working at it. I mean, your whole life. Uh, I mean, being 46, the the salary, the first year salary you got wasn't in the tens of millions. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it was somewhere it along the minimum. It wasn't even in the hundreds of thousands. In the hundreds of thousands, right. That's how it was, With, a couple of hundred thousand. Okay, and then of course your agent takes some and then you gotta pay taxes on it. So you're not rich, but you're better off than you were a week before. Yeah, yes, that's what it okay. is, yes. And you're part of the Phoenix Suns. Right. Uh, now, your first NBA game, uh, you know, you were playing against James Worthy and uh, you got that first dunk. Uh, how did that feel to step on, you know, the big court and, and get that dunk? Made me feel like about time I'm finally here now, let's get to rocking. Cause that's what I've been waiting on to play against the best. It's the only way to prove you're the best, you gotta play the best. So I'm like, I just feel like, now I'm finally here. Now I'm going to show y'all something myself. What were some of the highlights while you played that first season for yourself? On or off the court? Both. Well, off the court was the birth of my first biological son. That was, that was the best part about it because that was during, actually during the All-Star break. That was one of the biggest points. And the other one is playing against Michael Jordan in the finals. Right. And uh, well, that, that came a little bit later. So I wanna, I wanna kind of lead up to that. So you join, you join the Phoenix Suns and you're playing. And you know, in your first few games, how are you doing? Are you, are you, you know, doing your thing or are you still kind of getting adjusted? Actually, I was, it'll be in, I was in my own world, man. It, it, you'll, see, you'll understand why I, may, I mentioned it. It, not, it really, I never really got hyped about it too much because if a lot of people ever watched my games, I, my expression never changed, hardly. I'm just out there having fun. It's just play trying to win. And that, that was because I, had a, I was in a, a totally different state of mind then. Okay. Well, you're starting to play, and here you are. You're you're part of this this amazing team in the the highest basketball league in the world. You know, after playing for Israel, which you know I'm sure it was a cool team, but it wasn't the NBA. You know, you played for Oklahoma once again, not a great team. Now you're in the NBA, uh, and they start drug testing. And at one point, you end up failing a drug test. Right. How many? Like how far into the season was it when you failed? It was, we just completed our last preseason game. We were actually getting ready to start the season. We had, the, the first regular season game was gonna start and they test me on the last game of the season and stuff. Okay. And you uh, ended up testing positive for cocaine? Yeah. So you were still, were you doing coke or, or crack at that point? I was cracked. Okay. And well, before you were a broke college student, so you couldn't afford very much. Now you're a, a rich NBA player, and Not now you rich. can buy whatever you now want. I wasn't rich. I had a little more. Well, you had a little bit of money, right? You, you were much richer than you were in college, though. Yes. <laughs> Way richer. Yeah. So you had some money. Did the drug use in, increase with the money? Yes. Because now I can afford it. <laughs> you know, right. I don't have to worry about getting a little here and a little there. I can just get a whole bunch at one time. At what point, you know, you're getting high and you're saying to yourself, look, I I'm in the NBA. I know there's a drug test around the corner somewhere. Uh, I know I'm going to test positive if I keep smoking, uh, but I'm going to keep smoking anyways. Like, what was the thought process? Well, I... Actually, I, like I, like you said, I knew they were going to test because they said they were going to test 
all the rookies at least once in the preseason. We were getting ready to go on our last little road trip. That's right, before, our last little road trip in the preseason. So I told myself, I'm like, all right, all right, that'll give me like two or three days to let my system clean out. Cause you know, cocaine gets out your system like two or three days. And weed was legal cause I was smoking Primo's, which is weed, weed laced with crack. So weed was legal. So I wasn't worried about the weed part. It was the cocaine. So I'm like, I got three days. Cause the day I got back right off the plane, the addiction took over and I went straight and got high and they tested me the next day. I would have okay. passed it had I just waited. <laughs> yeah. When when they told you, hey, we're going to drug test you today, uh, how badly did you freak out? Actually, it didn't even, I didn't even feel bad, actually. I was like, oh, huh, they can bust me again. I, I'm just like, here we go again. So now you test positive again, but now you're in the big leagues. Uh, when they told you that you had just tested positive, as you're playing for the Phoenix Suns, how'd you feel? Oh, shoot. I, actually, I didn't have no, I was just like, man, I got mad at myself. I actually asked, well, give me a day and I go to rehab. I was just gonna go get high some more <laughs> since I had to go to rehab. Cause I'm like, I, I'll just go to rehab and I'll be back. Cause I do need to take care of that problem. Okay. And you got suspended for the rest of the season. Right. You went to rehab? Yeah. Yes, I did. And I was this in, is your I was second in, time? Second time going to rehab in your life? Yeah, that would be my second time. Okay. After you finished rehab, did you feel like you were you had kicked or not really? I don't know. Nah. As I finished rehab, I was just ready to go back and play, actually. Okay. And I mean, you were pretty lucky that they took you back. Here you are, a 46th round rookie. Uh, you hadn't even played in the in the postseason yet. Uh, you know, in the regular season, you get kicked out for you know, as they know, once again, uh, testing positive. They could have just said, "Hey, we're done," but they ended up taking you back. That's because we went to the. Uh, that's because I was at, with John Lucas with the Miami Tropics. John Lucas had a basketball team with ex-NBA players that got suspended for drugs and alcohol. We play in the summer league, it's called the USBL. Well, the, sum, the NBA summer leagues were about to go on. So they invited us, cause we're ex-NBA players trying to get back in the NBA. So they invited our team up there and I played on the team. Well, our first game against the Lakers, I had 50 points. Wow. In the second game I had 46. And then I think my lowest game was like 36 points. And, you know, we played, like, Danny Manning was there, Pooh Richardson there, Odom Polonies, they had some players. And then it was, we and we won every game. So they kind of got mad. How are you going to have a bunch of drug, ex-drug addicts come to our summer league and win all the games? So they actually paid John Lucas extra money and put a team together with Pooh Richardson and Danny Manning. Uh, had him like a little all-star team. I ended that game. I had 46 that game. Wow. And, and it was so sick. You, you were just killing it on the Yeah, game. my agent said, my agent had told me that after the first 50 point game, Jerry West asked Jerry Colangelo what he was going to do with me. And Jerry Colangelo told him that, oh, I'm keeping him. <laughs> <laughs> so if it wasn't for my basketball, I would have been gone. That's all that was. I, just, I was blessed to play the game. They saw the basketball in me. 